The 104th Annual Awards for the American Society of Civil Engineers Illinois section looks a lot different than it has in previous years. 2020 has brought new challenges through pandemics, civil unrest, working from home, e-learning, balance work, and life together in the same small space day in and day out. I know that this year is different than I expected. And although I wasn't able to accomplish all of my goals, I am proud of the year that our section has had and proud of our volunteers who have worked to still provide both content and connection with our members. And I am exceptionally proud of all of the great projects and great engineers that we are recognizing with our awards this year. While we don't have the opportunity to see each other in person and catch up with old colleagues, I am pleased we can still honor the incredible accomplishments within our section. An exciting opportunity that has come from the Socially Distance Awards program is that we are fortunate to have a guest speaker, Jean-Louis Briot, the Society President for 2020 to 2021. Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Jean-Louis Briot, uh, President-elect of uh, ASCE and uh, Distinguished Professor at Texas A&M University. Um, I, I would like to talk to you about uh, three things. Uh, one is uh, to discuss with you uh, the uh, vision, mission, and goals of ASCE in general and uh, then talk to you about uh, some of the steps that have helped me to uh, uh, make uh, decisions uh, when I was involved with uh, large organizations and then uh, finish by uh, telling you a little bit about uh, what I would like to accomplish uh, when I uh, become uh, president uh, in the next couple of weeks. So the first one is talking about uh, uh, the overarching uh, uh, ideas that, that uh, guide what ASC wishes to be. And the, the first one is the purpose. Uh, the purpose of ASC, so our purpose is really uh, why does ASC exist? And, and the ASC exists to help you matter more and enable you to make a bigger difference. That's the purpose of ASC. And then we have the mission. Now the mission, you know, the distinction between mission and vision is that the mission is uh, what you wish to be or what you wish to do in the short term. It's kind of a day-to-day -day, uh, goal and, and the, uh, the mission of, um, uh, of ASC is to deliver value to our members, to advance civil engineering, and to protect the public health, safety, and welfare. That's the mission. The vision is what ESC wishes uh, to accomplish in the long term. It's the long term goal. Uh, if, you, if you accomplish the mission, then you aim for the vision. And the vision of ASCE is that civil engineers are global leaders building a better quality of life. In order to accomplish this uh, uh, purpose, mission, vision, uh, the board of direction of ASE has uh, established uh, strat strategic goals. Uh, after much discussion, they came down to six strategic goals, and, and uh, I want to briefly go over those. Uh, the first one has to do with membership, and, and that is a priority. Uh, membership um, and it reads an ever-growing number of people in the civil engineering realm are members of and engaged in ASC. The second goal has to do with practice of civil engineering and it says civil engineers develop and apply innovative state-of-the-art practices and technologies. The third one has to do with infrastructure all infrastructure is safe, resilient, and sustainable. The fourth one has to do with education and the profession. ASC advances the educational and professional standards for civil engineers. The fifth one has to do with the image, how civil engineers are perceived by the general public. The public values civil engineers' essential role in society. 
And the number six strategic goals of ASCE has to do with ASCE being an efficient business. ASCE excels in strategic and operational effectiveness. So the board agreed on those six strategic goals and uh, you know, anytime you wish to accomplish something, you have at the same time to think of how you're going to measure success. In other words, if we accomplish this, how can we gauge it? How can we measure? We're civil engineers, so we like to me measure things. So, associated with all those six goals, uh, we've developed some uh, KPIs, some key performance indicators. And so, for membership, a simple KPI, well, how many members do we have? and how many students, how many young members, and so on. Um, and so we have a, a set of KPI associated with each goal, and that's how we're able to uh, measure whether we're doing the right thing or not the right thing, and, and, and so on. So this is the overarching uh, you know, uh, goals that the ASE has set uh, for itself. I, I'd like to now talk a little bit about um, you know how to make a decision, and and uh, w what uh, what the steps are in my mind. Of course, that's only my opinion. Uh, but the first one is to define the problem clearly and precisely. The number two is to uh, number two steps is to listen to colleagues, to the members, to their opinion to their reasoning, and to collect that information, including data. Then step three, you formulate your opinion. So you analyze uh, the, the, the situation, and uh, you use, for that purpose, you use uh, uh, logic, you use common sense, you use fairness, uh, you, you must be compassionate, uh, you must think about diversity, and, uh, and then you make a decision. And once you made that decision, you must be firm and clear about it. But at the same time, if a few months later, or as you see the response to your decision, uh, you feel that you've made a mistake, uh, don't be afraid to change your mind. Uh, not changing your mind and then forcing something that is not working is a sign of weakness in my mind. So don't be afraid to change your mind. But hopefully you don't have to change your mind very often because you've thought carefully about making the right decision. Uh, take the time, step six, take the time to explain your reasoning if controversy takes place. Uh, but remember at the same time that you're a leader not a follower. And so some decisions will be difficult, uh, but if you truly feel that, and, and don't think just about tomorrow or next week, but think five years from now, is the decision I make today will create a better ASC Illinois section or branch five years from now. So think uh, relatively long term. You may not be an officer for very long, but ASC will be around for many, many years, and your impact may not be felt right away, but it's important to think uh, longer term. Accept also that in a vote, when you're part of a team, in a vote, your view may not be the one that is finally chosen. And it's important at that point that you accept the vote of the team. Uh, you know, if the team and the coach decides to uh, to run a certain play, uh, and you're, you're a team member, but you decide to <laughs> run another play, uh, that's not going to be a very efficient way to win uh, for the team. So, accept that things may not go exactly the way you wish, and support the team uh, decision. And overall, you know, keep a pleasant and uh, collegial, respectful atmosphere in your group. Uh, and, and uh, don't forget to smile. And if, if things don't work out, just remember one thing that I've uh, uh, told my children many times, happiness is a choice. So that's for the decision process. Now let me talk uh, finally about this, uh, what I, I would like to accomplish 
um, you know, when you when you become president of a large organization like ASC, you may have a number of, of uh, items that you wish to accomplish, but one year goes back very fast and uh, you, you work with, with the team to make decisions, so uh, it's not always uh, easy to make things happen. But it, uh, aside from this, I wish to work on three uh, things that uh, all work in, in the direction of better communication with our members. Uh, I feel that uh, ASC has tremendous value for our members uh, and, and I, believe, I, I feel that our members do not know all that ASC has to offer. So communication with the members will be a primary uh, goal for my presidency. And so I, I've got three ideas that uh, I'm going to implement. The first one will be a town hall meeting with the president. Every month for one hour uh, I will meet with any member that wishes to, to join. Uh, and uh, during that hour, for about 15 minutes, I will uh, talk about some of the important things that are happening in ASCE. Uh, and, and then I will handle, uh, to the best of my ability, question and answer. I may not have all the answers, uh, but, but uh, if I don't have the answer, I'll promise you to, uh, you know, to come back and, and uh, give you the next uh, the, the answer the, the next time around. And the, f the first town hall meeting with the president will be on 2 November 2020 uh, at 12 noon central. So keep an eye and if you don't hear anything and you wish to join, just drop me an email and, and I'll, uh, I'll let you know how that, uh, that's going to happen. The second thing is uh, I have created the student presidential group. Uh, we have 150,000 members. One third of them are students. So it's a huge uh, part of our membership. But only 17% of those 50,000 actually transition to becoming a member of ASC when they graduate. 17%. That's one seven, not seven zero. I wish it was seven zero. And I want to work in that direction. Uh, but we've, uh, I've created this uh, student presidential group. We're meeting, uh, we started back in February 2020, and uh, we're going to uh, uh, present, uh, the students will present their work to the, at the next board meeting, uh, and they have a, a lot of energy uh, and, and a lot of good ideas as well, so they're making me look good. And then the third one is uh, creating a group called Region and Institutes Presidential Group. And this group, uh, so this group is made of the nine institute presidents and the ten region directors. And we meet uh, once every two months uh, for one hour around the middle of the, of the month. And, and we discuss ideas uh, uh, that uh, can benefit both the institutes and the region and in the end the ESC members. So um, we have already had a summit uh, in July. We had a, a first meeting on, the, on the, uh, earlier this month, October, and we will c continue to, uh, to meet uh, regularly. So these are some of my thoughts that I wanted to share with you. Uh, I wish you well. They know it's an important part of ASCE, and uh, I hope that uh, after this pandemic is over, uh, we can get together and, uh, and socialize. Thank you. Thank you, Jean-Louis, for taking the opportunity to speak to our section, and I look forward to your year as president of ASCE. The officers and board members and the annual dinner committee would like to thank each of you for supporting the Illinois Section's annual awards. We have a wonderful event planned to honor the individual and outstanding project award winners. I would like to take a moment to thank all of those who put forth a great deal of time and effort to bring this year's awards program together. Specifically, the annual dinner committee, the awards committee, and our executive secretary. 
We will now move to introduce the new group chairs, directors, and officers. All our outgoing and incoming board members are listed in the program that is also posted on our website. I want to personally thank all outgoing board members for their dedication and energy invested to keep the Illinois section thriving. The new 2021 group chairs and institute chairs are Justin Weisberg, Construction Institute, Steve Randolph, Environmental and Water Resources Institute, Jim Hamilton, Geo Institute, Ursilia Coletti, Structural Engineering Institute, Colleen Miller, Transportation and Development Institute, Pamela Whitfield, Urban Planning and Development Group, and Ben Osterman, the Younger Member Group. The 2020 section board members are Brian Pavula, President, Megan McDonald, Past President, Andrew Walton, President-Elect, Matt Huffman, Secretary, and Sandra Hamola, Treasurer. The section directors to 2021 are Megan Elberts, Thomas Janicki, and Marie Jensen. The section directors to 2022 are Gina Gowen, Zach Pussell, and Nihar Shah. I would now like to invite ASCE President Jean-Louis Briot to administer the ASCE Oath of Office to the new Illinois Section Board. Hello everyone, my name is Jean-Louis Briot, President-elect of uh, ASCE and a Distinguished Professor at Texas A&M University. I'm here to conduct the installation of the officers for the Illinois section and branches. And uh, I would like to start by uh, talking about how important uh, leadership role you're about to undertake. Uh, you're serving a lot of uh, ASC members in your part of the country and uh, they look up to you and it's important that uh, uh, you uh, handle this responsibility with great care. I wish to uh, mention the names of the uh, officers we're about to install today. Uh, Brian Paula, President. Megan McDonald, Past President. Andrew Walton, President-Elect. Sandra Homola, Treasurer. Mark Matt Huffman, Secretary. Tom Janicki, Annie Marie Jensen, and Megan Alberts, Directors. Gina Gowin, Zach Pussell, and Nihar Shah, Director. And then we have the 2020-2021 Technical Institute Chairs, Justin Weisberg, the CI, Steve Randolph, EWRI, James Hamilton, GI, Ercilia Coletti, SEI, Colleen Miller, TNDI, Pamela Whitfield with uh, UPND, and Ben Osterman, uh, incoming uh, young member uh, group. Let me now uh, proceed with the uh, uh, charge of responsibility to incoming officer. This is a very important moment for the Illinois section and uh, its branches. Uh, so I will read the uh, installation. Election to a position of leadership in a volunteer organization is an honor and unique responsibility. Your fellow members in electing each of you to your respective offices have in given you their trust. They have expressed confidence that you will be able to discharge your various duties with effectiveness and distinction. As officers of the Illinois Section of the American Society of Civil Engineers, you will represent your membership to the citizens of this geographic area. As a civil engineer, you have dedicated your professional and technical knowledge to the advancement and betterment of society. You have pledged to do your best to participate at the highest ethical standards of professional engineering conduct and to serve the public above all other considerations. Do you pledge to uphold the governing documents of the American Society of Civil Engineers and those of this section? And do you, in the presence of your fellow members, 
pledge yourself faithfully to discharge the duties of the office to which you have been elected to the best of your ability. If so, please answer, I will. 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 As the delegated representative of the President and Board of Direction of the American Society of Civil Engineers, I now declare each of you officially installed in the office for which you were elected. My congratulations and best wishes to all of you. A reminder that you can find the Illinois section through social media. We are on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn please take a moment to follow the section so that you can keep up with our latest news and see snippets of what our section and members are doing. The Illinois section would also like to recognize recent National ASCE Award winners. From the Illinois section, James Hamilton, the 2019 Arthur Casagrande Professional Development Award. ASCE has honored James Hamilton, PhD, Associate Member ASCE, with the 2019 Arthur Casagrande Professional Development Award for his innovative research in engineering and computational plasticity, extending the domain of geotechnical engineering, and for outstanding teaching and service that strengthens the profession and inspires the next generation of civil engineers. Yang Gang Huan, 2019 Theodore von Karman Medal. Yang Gang Huan, PhD, NAE, has been selected to receive the Theodore von Karman Medal Award, which recognizes distinguished achievement in engineering mechanics applicable to any branch of civil engineering. Dr. Raymond J. Kryzik, 2020 Outstanding Projects and Leaders Award in Education. Dr. Raymond Kryzik, PhD, PE, Diplomat in Geotechnical Engineering and Honorary Member of ASCE, has been selected to receive the 2020 Outstanding Projects and Leaders Award in Education for his accomplishments in research and his demonstrated excellence in furthering the quality of civil engineering education. Matt Kirby, TNDI's 2020 Outstanding Younger Member Award. Matt serves as project manager at Michael Baker International and also serves as the chair of TNDI's Local and Student Chapters Council which he has been instrumental in developing and leading to expand the geographic and student activities of the Institute. The award was set up to recognize the professional contributions of younger members of the Institute. Dr. Gong King Fu, the 2020 Alfred Ang Award on Risk Analysis and Management of Civil Infrastructure. Dr. Gong King Fu, PhD, PE, Distinguished Member of ASCE, has been selected to receive the 2020 Alfred Ang Award on Risk Analysis and Management of Civil Infrastructure for his outstanding contributions on risk analysis and management of bridge infrastructure. William F. Baker Jr., PE, Fellow SEI and Fellow ASCE 2020 Ernest E. Howard Award. William F. Baker Jr., PE, has been selected to receive the 2020 Ernest E. Howard Award. The award is made annually to a member of the American Society of Civil Engineers who has made a definite contribution to the advancement of structural engineering, either in research, planning, design, or construction, including methods and materials, these contributions being made in the form of a paper or other written presentation, or through notable performance of specific actions which have served to advance structural engineering. Life membership status is bestowed on an ASCE member in recognition of his or her long-term support of the society. Fellows, members, or affiliates who have reached the age of 65 years and have paid dues in any membership grade except student for at least the last 35 years and have had 10 years continuous membership immediately preceding have the opportunity to attain life member status. A career summary for each life member has been provided in the program posted on the Illinois section website. 
I encourage everyone to read about each of our new LIFE members and make note of the high caliber careers and achievements of the civil engineers that we have within the Illinois section. Our new LIFE members are Mir Maxud Ali, Scott W. Anderson, Farhad Ansari, Ku Hui Chang, Raymond Stephen Clark, Jamshid Jahidi, Stanley Charles Caterbeck, Maria Kaltsuni, Jean J. Koshin, Brian P. O'Neill, Samprati J. Shah, Michael Sutton. Congratulations to the incoming class of LIFE members, and thank you for your continued support of ASCE. Finally, thank you to all our members and our volunteers for supporting our section and for supporting my year as president of the Illinois section. I appreciate all the friends and connections I have made. I feel lucky to be part of such a great organization and more importantly, having the chance to meet such talented engineers. It is now my honor to pass the torch, the gavel, or whatever it may be to Brian Pavula, the Illinois section president for 2020 to 2021. I trust that he will see the section into a new year and new opportunities. Thank you.